We have discussed the present situation both with King George and with Mr. Churchill. We've all found time to arrive at a satisfactory understanding of Romania's political circumstances. I believe you are up to date on this information as well. The emergency is unchanged. The acknowledgement of a united Romania. I have promised Mr. Churchill that I would uh, look into your country's affairs. Splendid. And? Well, a united Romania would bring stability to the region, especially in light of the Bolshevik threat. So now that you've fully grasped the point we've been making for the past three months, what still seems to be the problem? Uh, well, um, you see, ma'am, President Wilson, he seems to have a rather intractable opinion of Romania. Are you saying that it is the American president's authority you defer to? I, I wouldn't quite put it in those terms, Your Majesty. It's complicated. There are many subtle diplomatic differences. I'm quite familiar with diplomacy. What I want to know is where Britain stands on the Romanian issue. We are giving it the utmost priority, Your Majesty. Good. Thank you, Prime Minister. I must say I've quite enjoyed our conversation, sir. We look forward to your strong support of the Romanian cause. That morning, 22nd of July, 2017. I was in Yilbrook Common in Fulham. It was about 10.30 a.m. And my shift at Strata didn't start until midday. But I arrive early so I can do some sunbathing. I was in a bikini, on a towel, reading a book. And you know what? It was the most beautiful day. The first day without rain for like a month. The sky was just so blue. And all of the sudden, there was this enormous bang. Take care. Now. Hey. Hey, Mr. Man, if you want to thank me, you can do it some other time. Oh, oh my god! Oh. This is my fucking oh. 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 oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh my god, Phineas! Are you okay, Phineas? Are you okay? I've just been stabbed by a bum, you bitch! I'm gonna die! Oh. Okay. Monsieur, I'll remind you that the treaty was signed under German occupation and never ratified by the king. We were abandoned and surrounded, waiting in vain for help from France and England. Despite everything, we stayed loyal to the Allies. The king even had to go against his own family, Mr. Clemenceau. And you're still holding on to that unofficial treaty with Germany. Forgive me, Mr. Clemenceau, but I see no point in taking up any more of your limited time. Votre Majesté a besoin de pleurer. No need to rush these important matters. Please, sit down. See, I don't believe in private property. You can't own a plant. It's the same way as you can't own the air. 
you don't own another person, we don't own anything. And if we don't own anything, we can't really steal anything, you know? So you really believe you're not doing anything wrong? No. I just take what's ever there for everyone to take. Don't see anything wrong with that. I like the way you think. Thank you. Uh, do you want to maybe get a coffee somewhere? We could continue this discussion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Great. Let me just drop my bag off. I own this and uh, and the pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I still don't believe in private property, you know. Well, you know, we'll discuss that over coffee and. Okay. You know, if we got married, it would be prenup. We'll see about that. We'll see.